got me low Not the woman in the street saying no easy no go Call it by my baby, I never let you go what we call politics tuesday and of course one of my favorite days where i get to come and deal with um, you know somebody who's um 95 of the time wrong five percent of the time right um of course my co-host earl evans in the house how are we doing sir? i'm good andrew the people was asking me what happened last week but i'm like you know so so say, man, let me explain you something if we don't have no politics on a tuesday is only one problem and one reason that happened. You know, he, he didn't he didn't show up. There's only one that, reason we don't have a politics that's, on a Tuesday. That's that's kind of unfair, seeing that you had a bacchanal vacation. I, I took a vacation. You take a bacchanal vacation. But I made it known, announced to the people that they know they wasn't going to be able to see us, and, oh. I, still, and I still came back and gave them one show. Earl, cry me a river. I All cried, right, I man. But let me go jump into it. Let me jump into it. We got a lot of things to talk about because we share them still. Oh Jesus. Why are you gonna start off? Who is start off the show with Grecian? I mean, Kai, I like I like to start off the show with the hot topics. You know, the, <laughs> the, the majority of the people people them don't make it past ten minutes in the show. You understand? You gotta give them the, you gotta give them the substance to keep them going. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ah, yeah, so yeah. If they make it this far, they, it this far, they, 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 they right now about to sit down and. Earl, got around, got around. Get all the kids. Let me give you a story. Let yeah. me tell you about the pelican. No, because let I'm, me tell you about the salt. I always I always just have to start off with apologies. Whenever I, I see that I need to apologize, I gotta start off with that. You understand? And I need to apologize to the people then because I had a I, I, I made a major error in a, in a broadcast that I gave one time. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. So then Theo Heiliger now has written the up party and told them that they cannot run with the party. And I was under the impression that because they had a written agreement that that is why he can't do nothing. But come to find out, Theo, Theodore Heiliger and Rolando Bryson does not have no kind of written agreement for leadership of the party, nothing at all. Okay. So... So I apologize to the people for saying that he had a written agreement and that's why he, he can't do this. So, so, so now I understand why they feel... Because I always want to know why they, just, why, why they feel they could keep doing this thing. I always wanted to know why they feel... And now I know why they could feel because they knew they never had nothing on paper. So now they're trying to to pull back their word, you know, trying to seem like they don't have no word. A, a, a word is not good enough, you know, but... Yeah, a, a word of a politician is like the word of the government. But I thought he would have known that, you know what I'm saying? So, so I, my, my sincere apologies, you know, because I swore it was under some kind of contractual agreement for the two terms, but St. Martin is not a real place when it comes to... <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so now there is a big fight. With, with that's concerned because now, you know what I'm saying, they're pulling back a card or pulling back their word or taking back their integrity. And, and yeah, man, it, it's, it's really, it's really tricky. You, can, you can't pull back nothing you never had before. Now, of course, it is all about what is happening um, on the lovely island. Um, it's campaign season. It's had, it has begun. 
um, of course. It's six and a half more months before the actual elections for country St. Martin. Parliament, not minister, not governor, not ombudsman, not public tender. Not governor. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said that one already. Parliament, because most of the time everybody looking to fix cars, fix the roads. Get license too. Get license. Um, 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 get built. Listen, speaking about this building thing, let me, before I go back to this election thing, Duran, Minister Duran, with all uh -oh. due respect, with all due respect, what in the flying hell are you doing at Romy? What is going on? <coughs> you got me coughing. <coughs> Hold on. I got you some water now too then, Andrew. What? I want to hear what you got to say. I see a public tender. Let me put it up on the screen. Wow. The public tender uh, request is for the financing, the design, and the, the building <coughs> of the new parliament building. So, in essence, what we're doing is the rent that we're paying for the parliament building now, we're going to build, let somebody else finance and build a new parliament building, and then we're going to pay them rent. What? No, no. Let me say that again. Yeah, please. Can you last me with that one there? We paying rent right now. I only put money in rent to the go. Yes. To the parliament building. The one right next to the courthouse. Correct. We paying rent there. Okay? What we're doing now in essence is that we are asking persons to finance and build our new parliament building where the old government building was. Mm. Across from the police station. Yes, right mm -hmm. there. And then we're going to pay them rent for the next 50 to 60 years. Mm. And then we're going to go so, a so little bit farther. We're going to go a little bit farther. Before you go down. So the person who ain't breaking it down ain't get a contract to build it up? Like, what? I, I, you lost, you're losing me straight, Andrew. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The person got the contract to break it down. That's it, Claudia's case. Boop, that's what? it. All that, all that money? All that, all that money? 600,000 gallons to break down. Just to break it. Ding, I no billing involved none of that. You crazy? So, 600,000 gallons to break... Hey, we in the wrong, we in the wrong business. We in the wrong field, Andrew. Get your hammer, let me go. You, you ready? You got get your, your back off. No, we in the wrong field, Andrew. 600,000 gallons to take down some... They break it down. And that's it. Job completed. So then, so then... They got to rebid again for this, this not attending to build it. No, well, they can, but I'm just saying. The strange things about it is, and what everybody's talking about, everybody is making a big scene. That's why I say Romy, is, Romy Minister is losing his mind. I think something is going on, or you're really looking to get locked the hell up. You have to send a tender. You ready? I, I had the school children talking. I told you about that you last send, time. You have to send a request to a company, so not to the government, for the documents of what you're looking to, to bid for. So that company is located on the French side. What? That's, a, that's like an overseas territory considering. That's, that's pretty much how they consider it. Like, like that's like shopping in China. That's like still shopping in America. That's like, that's like shopping in Europe. So like they have so 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 you're requesting information about a government project to a French side company. What is going on, Sharendi? What is going on, Egbert? Bro. What are you doing? Andrew, you got me speechless. You're giving the young people a bad like you give it, you got me speechless, Andrew. I I I I don't understand. Listen. I know, I, I understand now why the National Alliance keep him out of the photo collage, because they vex. Well, he might not make it. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're, you're going for leadership he, of the National might Alliance. He might not make it to November, that's, he you, might not you, make it to what, November. What are you doing? What, six months before elections? Well, they got to get the money, Andrew. I keep telling you this, man. They got to get the money in by, by the hook or by the crook, yeah? They got to get it somewhere or farm but fashion. you going to do it to a point whereby you're going to go to jail? <laughs> they don't believe they could get catch you on, son. So, but what's going on with the Cold Bay Road here? Yeah? It take, take me like 30 minutes just to come from, from, from Ball King 
to the hill there, eh? 30 minutes, bro. The Kobe Road, the Union Road, is like uh, making, um, you know, you ever went to make chicken soup, but you forget the chicken? <laughs> <laughs> so we just got soup, no chicken? We forget the chicken. Oh, so there's no ass, we, there's no ass fault? <laughs> But the man and just say they get it no, back. No, no, they, they get it. They're so, busy. But it's um, the weather now. The weather. It, it has a bunch of factors that you have to deal with because when you're re resurfacing, and that's why I just don't understand the way they, they execute the project because they went ahead and did the whole, you know, scraping, making sure everything is clean so that they put, could put the asphalt. But then they noticed that the asphalt that they have is wrong and they have to send it to the airport. So what happened was. You see what I'm saying? Eh? Wow. What happened was is that they had to send the asphalt that they had left to the airport because the airport is more important. And then the Union wow. Road was then left. But then on the 1st of June, it arrived. So as soon as it arrived, they have to now mix it. It's going to take some days to mix. Oh man. So, so, after, yeah, so we so had the mixing stage now. Yeah, so, so, so after okay, the mix it, <laughs> they after the mix it and if weather permitted, if weather permitted, then it's when they're going to lay it down and hopefully it doesn't rain and then everything hardens and then we have a stable wow. road. Wow. Like the stable government. Yeah, man, have. yeah, man. It's yeah, you know, it's, I appreciate the explanation and I didn't expect it to be like bypass heart surgery to link to <laughs> to fix the to fix the, the the, the, the road, you know? And this is what I'm saying, Sam Adam, again, every week. I'm going to remind you until the election cup. This is why we need, to, we need to, to elect competent people who actually are qualified for their job position. It's a parliament election, so we don't really get to elect ministers, but we start with them. We start with, with competent people because normally, as you can see, the people that we elect, they just come down. All the people that was elected for parliament is who turned ministers. They didn't select no minister. All of them who was elected for parliament... No, 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 that's not true at all. Just so. Because so who, Anna was not elected. She got she got next Anna was not elected. Okay, so then Anna is the exception. Who else wasn't elected? Um uh who it was. Well well the Theresa the, the, the Theresa Minister no because of the coalition agreement. But other than he, who else? Yeah, Leo didn't get elected. Because either. of the coalition agreement. Because yeah. you know, but that's why he gave forty two votes last time. <laughs> and he minister. <laughs> but this is this is this is this is what I be saying, bro. Yo! Oh, Sir Martin, I love you. I love you so bad. Um, what else? You have um, the, the Minister of... Um, health? He was elected. No, no, he was elected. The Minister, minister of, of Finance was elected. Yes. The uh, Minister of Romy was elected. Yep. The Minister of Education was elected. The Prime Minister yep. was elected. Yeah. Who are we missing? Those the two that, I, that, that well, were not elected, which was Justice... Violinus. Violinus wasn't elected, for sure. He's a Minister of Penitentiary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, wasn't he elected. Wasn't elected. Um, so the, the deputy, um, R Richard um, Panafleck in uh, Holland, he's a uh, deputy. He was not elected either, but he was appointed. Um, of course... Yeah, he's still there? I thought he... So that, so that way he went from? He went from... Yeah, he was a um, Minister of VSA. Yeah. And then they noticed that he couldn't do the job, so they sent him oh, to God. Holland. Oh, God. Go get a drink in Holland. So, they, so they, instead of instead of normally firing somebody who don't do the job and trying to find better qualification, we just shuffling the decks and send him someplace else where he's not qualified for. Yes, it's called political um, affiliation. Welcome. It's, so, is that what the pep stand for? Them, that what the, that what the pep them people them do? <laughs> no, I ask you no question. Man. <laughs> so that's what a pep. That, that what that what they mean when they ask you if you're a pep person? No, 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 no. It just means political affiliation. Yeah, it's 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 a oh. it's a crazy thing. But honestly, um. Coming back to um, yeah the elections and um, the the two hundred to three hundred um, can campaign launches from these political parties, um, I must um, um, let you know that um, you know the people are not going to be fooled with your meet and greets and your showing up to my house, knocking on my door, asking to speak to me and be concerned uh, for my family because it's election time. Um, especially when you notice that we've gone from. You know, having these big rallies, having these big motorcades, having these big, um, you know, uh, um, public events. Uh, what we're going to do now is, you know, we're going to... Anybody home? It's just so, a couple no, of no, us. No, send, 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 them, send them with the sensors. Because we have problems getting the sensors <laughs> done. So send them... No, so, no, <laughs> you why are you laughing? But no, seriously, if they're go, they going house to house, 
tell them volunteer with the census card. We have a hard time getting the census done for nothing. But we need to go back to the to, we need to go back to the days where if you don't if you don't participate with the census, you you lose your registration. <sighs> Carl, we got that law. Eh? We got that law, Saint Martin, but it's not in being enforced. And I really and truly want you to, to understand that. You, they can't lock you up for, for, for participating in the census. You got 100 people living in your house, they just need to know that, but they can't, they can't use that to incriminate you. You can't be incriminated for giving a census, Sir Martin. Um, so, 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 so please don't, don't, don't Earl, duck and dodge and Earl, run for Are you. you really going to tell the people um, of St. Martin who've been screwed over and over by government, and, you know, multiple governments, that the information that they provide to the census office is not going to be used against them? It cannot. That's, 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 that, but if you know your law, that's the law. It cannot. That's why, that's yeah, why they... Is the trust factor is what I'm talking about. Yes, so, so it that's cannot, it, so it that's, cannot, no, 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 but no, no, no. they don't trust so them. I don't, so how I, do I you don't, expect... Because I, expect... I don't do the feelings. A trust is a feeling. If I know you can't use it, I dare you to go use it. Because then I know what to do after that. So, so knowledge, when, when, you, when, you, when you're on a knowledge base, you know what to do. When you're on a, a, a feelings or you believe, you, 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 you're uncertain. And, and uncertainty leads you to bad, making bad decisions, like ducking and dodging from the people. That, they're, they're volunteers. They're not no, no police. When a census person comes to your house, they're volunteers. They're not police. They're not immigration. They are an outstanding citizen of, 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 of society, not even... That, that, ha that wants to, 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 that took the time to volunteer to come and take the 10 census. That's who they are, come at you, not in your house door. You don't have to peep, hide, knock, nobody home. Like, like we need to know that the census is a very important aspect. You know that they have a group chat in the high society neighborhoods, um, um, you know, the Kipukoi and, and the, 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 the Bel Airs and, 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 and all those um, highty tighty neighborhoods. <laughs> whereby they have a group chat that says, hey, they're coming by your house, run. <laughs> don't come, don't answer. No, but Like, then, what in the but, hell but is then, this? But then, this is why I'm making it a topic to discuss it on partial, because if you don't participate in the census, ladies and gentlemen, and you don't solidify that your address is still what it is, and you, and you give them concurrent information, and they can't find you at no address they come to with the census people then, they are obligated, or they're the last days that you're supposed to be removed from the registration, from the registry. You're supposed to be removed. If you, don't, if you don't comply with the census at the address that is documented in the registry and you don't comply with that, you haven't updated that, then you're supposed to be, and they come and check it and you're in there, you're supposed to be removed. Okay, well, let's not get dramatic now. I'm not getting dramatic. I'm just saying, I'm just... Uh, I'm just trying to explain to people them what they are putting themselves in by thinking that they're doing themselves a favor when they're not. The, the census is not somebody you... The census is not the person you dug and died, man. I'm telling you. Please do the census because we need to, we need to, uh, to know exactly how much population we have because we need to know exactly how much a seat going to go along. We, we need to know. We need to, we need to, we need to, the census is important because we need to know how much for a seat coming for you. We need to know, bro. And if y'all is ducking and dodging the census and, and making it some kind of not real number, like, a lo like then, then we, 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 got, we got more problems than we got solutions, I think. And this is one of them. You know what I'm saying? The census is very important to the political process. We need to know how much people we got on the island so we can know how much to allocate for a seat. It's a lot of things with the census. So if you're ducking and dodging the census, people then, also it's your registration to make sure that your last known address that you have on file is still, still the same thing. Maybe you change it. They want to make sure they, you have the correct address so they could send you a voting card. Maybe you won't change it. This is... We can't be ducking and dodging the census, people say, Martin. That's all I'm going to tell you. Please, don't do it. All right. Because once they start to enforce, and then you go down to the registry, you can't see yourself in the registry, just understand because you duck them when they come ask you if, you, if this is you're still here. Okay? Now, um, what Earl is talking <laughs> about is um, the census cleanup has been taking place for the past two years. Of course, our good Prime Minister, Syria Jacobs, is in charge of um, the election process that uh, we have coming up. And um, as Minister of General Affairs, she needs to account based on the population, the voting population. I like how you do this. I like how you do break it down for me, Andrew. I appreciate that. Based on the voting population. So um, last, last time we had about 19,000 going on 20,000 registered voters um, for the voters registry. Now, um, as far as percentage-wise, we've been going um, a little bit downward 
um, as far as persons voting for the election. Because we had elections so many times, we had a 49%, 40, 40, 40, 48%. The last time we did very well because it was 51%. So that means at least more than half um, voted. However, 9,000 or oh, close to 9,600 persons did not vote during the last election. And that, of course, um, caused the fact that we have the idiots we have now. Um, so understand that um, your vote, whether you vote or not, it actually counts. Because if you don't vote, it gives these parties, particularly the big parties, more power. Uh, the small parties get to suffer because last time you had um, uh, close to uh, 940, yeah, 940 votes you had to get in order to get the seat. Um, now you can imagine if uh, a party gets about 3,000 to 4,000 votes, they get uh, automatically um, a residual seat um, and then it adds on to them and gives them more power. So did you really vote for them? No. And of course, they take a oath after and say that they represent you, even though you didn't vote. But you're the ones who's going to be complaining throughout the, the entire um, well, well, they can't do that because I have a wise, I have a wise voter campaign. I finished out, but probably before the end of this month, um, I've done all my media flyers, got all my work. I just gotta get the the, the, the commercials or the, or the top points taped. I have two of them already, just to get them. So yeah, so before the end of this month, I have a wise voter campaign coming, and it's gonna it's pretty much tell you that if in one of the one of the one of the, one of the members I got it, if you don't vote, you can't complain. Yeah. So um, and I, and I, I gonna mean that because if you don't take the time to at least take the time to cast your vote for a representation that you think is fitting, then you have no, then you then you see no representation there is fitting, then you can't complain or what do you? Then you have no rights to complain, no, no job. So, so yeah. So um, just let me finish. So now from, we have 15 members of parliament, so 15 seats. We going um, to 17? I'm asking. We, but that's what we, that's what, <laughs> let me explain now, Earl. Oh my God. So what Earl was talking about with the census is that Based on our law, mm -hmm. if we pass the 20,000 mark, I think about 21,000 mark, we're supposed to go to 17 based on our 16 square miles and the amount of registered voters. We're supposed to then go to 17 seats. 15 is underneath the 20, 17 is over the 20. Now, um, because over the years people have been voting the way they've been voting, we noticed that you know, a bunch of dead people must be on the damn registry because um, half of the population does not come to vote. So they started this whole cleanup of the census office, and that's why the census people come in to harass you by your house, because they need to know whether you exist or not. Are you a real person or are you not a real person? So if we reach over the 20,000, definitely we can bet we're going to go to more... Um, spending um, or, or, or good or earn money uh, and pay two more jackasses to join um, the Parliament of St. Martin. But otherwise to that, um, if not, then we stay with the 15 um, and then they could decide, okay, well, we might um, expand the ministries. But from the way it's looking, because, um, you know, St. Martin is not a real place, we're going to go to 17 and um, because the more power, the more money. And um, let's hope that um, the small parties um, are the ones that are going to benefit from the 17 seats instead of the big parties. Because if the big parties do, then <coughs> guess what? Big parties just going to get enough to just come back together, and then it's the next kumbaya. No, for but the I've next already said years. it's going to be three or four. It's going to be a three or four political term because you know, it, it, this is the way of the the, the the world right now. This is the way of Siman parties right now. We don't trust the big parties to do. We don't. We don't need. We don't want no dictatorship. What happened to those landslide? Remember the good old days of right. landslide. Any politician party run today and call about a landslide mandate. Give me full mandate. They, I know what they on, but what they need to pass it. You know what I'm saying? Well, 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 why can't we? <laughs> why? What happened to say Martin? Where you know we have one. We don't. Person. We have been beaten and battered by our political arenas for so long that we don't. We no longer feel that they are the ones capable to run the country. So we will never give... So we'll never have a politician that resonates with every single group. Because, you know, what? sadly to say... We have 111 different cultures here. Yeah, I know. But this is what I'm saying. Sadly to say, the reflection of um, parliament today 
is the reflection of the population. No, I agree. I agree. No, but, but we need to change Which that. is horrible. Which is horrible. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you one thing, Simon. Once this wise voter campaign starts, the first, the first part of this is a hard registration vibe. So this is where I got the census information from because I, I, I also going to, going to register first time voters, but also going to help those who, who, who want to check to see, you know, if they need to update your address or the, if you need to update your voting form, if you need to update your right to vote, if you want to check it out, I'm going to help those. But more so, I'm going to be registering first time voters. So that aspect that is not, has not been done or hasn't been focused on in a while, I have a campaign coming for it. That's what I'm going to try to do. So all of that rest stuff that they got going on there, Y'all can have that. I'm coming with something new. I'm coming with the people who haven't been corrupted, who haven't been beat up, who haven't, who haven't been approached to be bribed or haven't been bribed. I'm coming with the unadulterated, unmessed with, unprovoked. Unfiltered. Unfiltered. Like innocence. I'm coming, I'm coming with the innocence, Samantha. Because the rest of you. Do you know what happens to innocent people, Earl? Right, I'm out. Do you know what happens to innocent people? They turn corrupted, but that's a matter. <laughs> no, 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 I that, mean, but, but, but so why? Why this? Listen, because they because, come. because 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 Earl. because because corruption is their culture. But if I start with them and I show them not to be corrupted, you gonna you you got you you gonna have to you gonna have to come to unwind their foundation. I'm building a foundation of wise voters, Andrew. Earl, once you, it's it's all about who you know and who you don't know. If you don't know them, you get shit. If you know them, you're lucky. If you don't know, you're going to have to work hard. And working hard, you know, unfortunately... Never kill nobody, Andrew. I work hard. I a hard working man. You never kill nobody. Yeah, but you can still pick up the phone and call <laughs> So stop your shit. Stop it. Okay? <laughs> and I, you just work it, hard. Even, even though I don't do that, I don't, even though I don't pick up the phone, yeah, but you're, you, you're, but absolutely you can. Right, but you're absolutely right. But you I, can. I, so I'm saying, I'm saying... I got, I got a one, yes. I got a one. I'm time. just saying... That at the end of the day, you know, we we put together the, the, the super group of voters that come and and, and, and and is gonna have as much hope and 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 you can see it in their eyes, you know, in the future and, and how they want to see St. Martin go, and then they realize <laughs> that they have to deal with the bureaucracy of 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 Saint what Martin, in, what in and they their, have to no, deal see, with, and they have to deal with um action. What in the hand? To, you see, what in the? You 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 don't go on, What what in there? What you do when you walk in the building? What you see? You see ghosts? <laughs> you see? Listen, people still have to deal with these civil servants. <laughs> what you see? What you see people still have to. Deal I don't really with go in the business. Disease. I don't really go in the government. But when you walk in there, deal. what you see? And tell me, I got to understand what the, because every every par every parliamentarian gone in there, minister gone in there, they like they turn. I don't understand what's going on with them. I can't recognize them. They, what they championing, how they, how they start off with. Once they get in there, they don't remember nothing. They can't do community service. You can't see them volunteering. Not even say nothing. Do it. They can't do. They can't do community service because they're jail full. So you can't, you can't say that. Okay, just leave, leave that alone for now. But at least, you know, you have the Netherlands peeing up some cells. So sooner or later... Tio going back. We go have some Alliance, MPs. We Alliance, have the MPs could Alliance, go serve the Alliance, time. Tio go back in there for me. That's all I care about right now. Yeah, Alliance, listen, be careful what you wish for, you know, because Alliance, Tio, Tio, in the, Tio on the waiting list and Chanel on the waiting list. So you got to be careful because... Um, but then again, Tio got three years and um, Chanel get uh, six months. So let's see which one they're going to pick up first. Or maybe they do two for one special. Let them share a cell. Let them share a cell. You know, you'll never know. Yeah. They could write a book together. How to get away with <laughs> Listen. Politics Tuesday. We'll take a commercial break. When we come back, much more. Stay with us. At SXM, we're taking travel and tourism to new heights. Here we boast spacious check-in areas. 10 passport control points, comfortable departure lounges, and finally, there's an airport in the Caribbean that takes your travel plans as seriously as you do. Princess Juliana International Airport.
Welcome back. And of course, it, this is Politic Tuesday. We continue the program. Um, um, Ipco. So that's where it is now? They got to spend half our money well? In Holland, yes. Nine of them. Um, nine of them? Yes, nine. But the, but the majority is how much? Majority is eight. So, so where the rest of them going? Where the, <laughs> the way it is work. Let me, let me explain how it is. Yeah, talk to the people. <laughs> Fashions. Remember? Once you, be uh, <laughs> once you become independent, but that don't, we don't got that no more. They got, we don't got that no more, Andrew. Yes, we do. Remember, not because we just joined with Sarah means that she's part of Sarah Fraction. No, 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 no. I'm saying that now that Mr. White Carlin has said that you can't take the independent seat. You, if 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 a, if, a, if a, she wants to go independent, you gone. But you don't, you don't. So how come nobody ain't contesting or fighting for the seat back? How come USB ain't fighting for the two seat back? They how did, come they did and and they were ignored? Because they don't have no president, they don't have no case. How do you mean they don't um, have no case? The law, the law, the law doesn't allow for them to, to run after this seat. So, so the action that they've been doing. The law doesn't allow it, but it doesn't stop it either. It's one of those stupid ass things that St. Martin, St. Martin likes to rule on president. What, what are you saying? We like to rule on president. So <laughs> if one jackass do something, we like to follow the jackass. Even if it's against the law? Because that's what we're talking about. This is illegal procedures here. They're not supposed to take... Not because... illegal if we never have the system. It's like a, it's like a loophole. It's, it's a loophole. It's a loophole. That's how, that's how it is. It's like one of those loopholes. It's like, okay, you know what? We're going to fix this next election. Like that type of thing. That's how they're going to do it. They, they can't just abruptly... They can't abruptly tell Krisha, hey, Krisha, resign. Hey, Ludi, resign. They can't do that. Andrew, hold up, hold on. You miss, you miss it. Maybe, maybe I need to rephrase it. Let me rephrase it. Rephrase it. Okay, good. Okay. They've been driving on the right, on the left-hand side of the road. Yes, like in Anguilla. But the last stage, you're supposed to drive on the right-hand side. But because the police never stop them and tell them that they're on the wrong side of the road... It's still an illegal practice that they're getting away with. Yes. Like in so, now, so now that the police are going to stop you and tell you, sir, you're on the wrong side of the road. Did you know that? But you, you can't say, but everybody doing it and we've been doing it for so long. You can't say that. Yes, it's called presidents. That's exactly what presidents means. You do something wrong for an X amount of time. That means that is what you refer to. So there's nothing you can stand on but an argument of it's not in the Constitution. That's what I've been saying. Same thing with Mr. Romney. Mr. Romney is absolutely right with the different papers, with going to Parliament, with informing them, with letting the Prime Minister know. USP also for requesting, requesting for their seats back, what they're supposed to be getting. I didn't even know they request for it. They're yes. supposed to get it back? No. What is because, this? Because they kick one out and they expel a next one. Uh, no, one resign and the ex one, uh, next one get um, expelled. That got nothing to do with their seats, though. Yes, it does. Because the individual takes over the seat after the party wins the seats. It's one of those confusing things. Stop it early. You'll give yourself a headache. But then, ca ca then, 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 then why do they allow to form fractions then if that's the case, Andrew? Because, look... Okay, once again. Just answer that question. A political party, <laughs> a political party runs in an election. The political party then gets elected. The person with the amount of votes needed, then um, the amount of, uh, amount of votes, the most votes, gets the seat, right? So then individually they will be representing the party. If Thank you. Say if it the, again. Yes. Representing the party, Represent, not themselves. Correct. Correct. Good. No, you're gone. If they are at loggerheads, if they don't agree with each other. That got nothing to do with the seat, Andrew. Please get to that. Yes, it does. Wow. The person is allowed to then say, go and fly a kite. I don't um, resonate with whatever your party stands for anymore, even though I ran with your party a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> you're laughing. I, I see you, Andrew. You're laughing. Um, I don't believe in nothing that your party stands for. You can't tell me what to do. I'm going independent. And then as soon as they become independent, they become a faction. And then they get to hire two staff members. And then they get an office space. And then they get the privilege of being a faction leader. So therefore, they get to go to IPCO even though they don't have anything to contribute. Oh, God. This is it, man. Oh, God. This is what we Oi, do. oi. 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 Welcome. So, once again, the system in a mess. Only way we can fix it 
You see, if the prime minister... You, 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 still, ain't, you still ain't answer me, though, Andrew. I, I hear you. I see, you, you get away, because I like you. But <laughs> you can answer me, Andrew, and I'm going to ask you one more time. So. Yeah, you treat me like Sarah. I always, <laughs> I always just answer you. What are you talking about? I'm answering you. The oh, question man. that you want to ask, Earl, you know, that's what Sarah would say. Anyway, okay, so go, go back. Give me the question. Now that we know that this has been an illegal act going on for so long, how do we rectify it now? First of all, now is Chris, so stop saying now. <laughs> Secondly, um, and, he don't, and he don't have no now <laughs> because <laughs> his seats belong to any as well. Correct. You see, Thank you. Yeah, you see why I say St. Martin is not a real place. Anyway, okay. The Prime Minister who is in charge of the electoral process can make sure, talk with the, um, the, the, the voting bureau so that they can have one head for the next election. Have the rules in such a way that it reflects the laws that we have already. So, so we need to make laws to reflect the laws we already no, have? No, no, we're not making laws. We're just going to enforce it. So we're not going to then recognize So why we can't enforce it now? We know better now. We need to do better now. We need to enforce the law now. Stop saying no. You're giving Chris too much nows. Chris needs to go and register his vehicles on the Dutch side because he's a parliamentarian on the Dutch side and stop riding with French tags. On the, the man street. is a Dutch and a French man. He needs to, need to stop finding a loophole. You, you, That's a loophole. Yo, stop, stop it. Stop you it, stop. No, no. Pay your taxes on he the Dutch side. He got a Dutch passport and You're a French on passport. The Dutch side. He's allowed to do that. He got a Dutch passport and a French passport. He's allowed to do that. That's not a loophole. That's what you call a smart man. <laughs> That's a smart man right there. You crazy? But that's the leaders that we have that are trying to outsmart their own country and their own laws. And this is the kind of people that we have, Andrew. So appreciate you for wrapping it up. The road tax, the road um, plates, they're too small. Remember he had said? So he rather the French side ones. That is your, that's, your, that's how your future leaders are, man. That's how people are more going to vote for him. They can give seats and that's, that's, that's who are you supporting there. People then who don't want payroll tax, who find loopholes to find to have all the cars then registered on other places. So they took, and then they want to tell you to and then they want to tell you to do things on the other. <laughs> Yo, how can a man who don't even follow the road tax or follow the law try to convince you or tell you anything about you? Like, like this is what I'm saying, man. Dual citizenship. That's it. Argument done, Earl. Argument done. If he was only living on the on the, on the Dutch side, I would I would have backed you up. But if I got two. If I got two passports, boy, I dancing on both sides of the border. I dancing on both sides of the border. Today I friends, tomorrow I dance. Today I friends, tomorrow I dance. Let's go and the, the, on the um, um, friend side elections. All right, let me go back. Uh, dot side elections. You can't find me. Well, actually, they did find him. Oh, I don't <laughs> yeah, know. They, yeah, they searched the house. Yeah, ah, so yeah, yeah. Him, yeah. So. <laughs> no, because I think he's smart. Yeah, <laughs> master of loopholes. So then you will definitely get those kind of situations coming out here, boy. Because you're not a straight up person. You don't stand on integrity. And those kind of things will happen to those people. Then. So that's why now are you, are you waiting for things to happen to me? Keep waiting. I stand on integrity. <laughs> I stand on integrity, people. Something um, that the politicians don't got. So speaking about um, integrity, oh, sorry. Speaking about not having integrity, the United Samaritan Party, the, oui. the USP, Wait, wait. I noticed that um, they're still um, looking for candidates. So if you go ahead, Morgan, and postulate yourself, Andrew. You no, know, no, that's 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 fine. Me, me and Gromico can't be on the same list. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't be on a list with liars. Boy, no, boy. No, it's important <laughs> once again that um, you know help the USP out. Um, if you have a criminal record, <laughs> um, if you ever um, did something wrong, um, um, any fraudulent issues, um, any record you have, um, just go and postulate with the USP. They need, they need you today. It's important. Oh, man. Up. They have a lot of meet and greets. So um, go and help them out. Oh, man. They need, they need at least 10 people. <laughs> Um, to, 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 to be part um, of the next conference. I would like to just wish the USP well for this upcoming election. I would just like to say that you guys, you guys had a... Grubico uh, boys carry it on your back. No, man, but they had a his, you had a history of producing criminals, criminal-minded, criminal intent from your list, eh? Most of the majority of the problems, government fall, boom, boom, independence, boom, 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 boom. Come, stems from the USP. Boom, so whatever y'all philosophy boom, 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 boom. is, the 
Mm. Say Martin people are no longer believing it. They're no, breaking the cycle. We no longer want They're it. They're breaking the cycle. And you can't convince us otherwise. So I They're wish y'all no seriously. I wish y'all truly the best because y'all gonna y'all gonna get the brunt. They're gonna get the brunt of Saint Martin aggravation. You know the no, rest. I think I think I think the, the people will give them a chance. Not that yeah. that no, they, we don't give, we don't give them too much chances. We don't know who they is. We we don't really and you know the, the difference. Let's look at let's, let's look at the list of um, we don't great even, politicians we don't, we don't, that came from the U. We, no, we don't the even. We, my thing is we don't even care who on the list. No, we just tired of, we just tired of them all together from no. You understand what I'm saying? So they don't they don't rob the, you don't rob Saint Martin us the wrong way that we no longer care to even. You could, you could bring God with, with Jesus with, with, and Mary and Joseph on your list, and we still won't know. We, will, we won't care. We won't want... We, we had a former Prime Minister, Leona Marlin, that was part of the... She dropped the government for what? For, she, was, she was part of the U.S. She dropped the government for what, Andrew? Let the people let know. I just talking about people who have come from USP no man. Stop it no man. Right, Stop I'm the man. My part, my part, my part. Leona Marlin, Romeo, she was part of the USP. So, you know, great candidates. Um, we had Anna Richardson, our current Minister of Justice. She was part of the USP. Once she didn't get to the, uh, she didn't get you from the USP, so let's not do that. <laughs> yeah, but she started, she started there. Our worst, our worst campaigning ever was on the USP. Let's not do that either. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> <laughs> we have, um, of course, Silvio Matzer. He came from the USP. Boy. Yes. But he lock up or he in, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 he's, uh, he's, still, he's still in appeal. One of the appeals. So that one person got to go to jail then. Still. Oh yeah, the list. Got, yeah, I gotta so get my pen off my back. I gotta, I gotta keep. No, I gotta keep. One, two, three, no, I gotta four. keep a list because they got to go to jail because they was me. They gonna be screaming, lock all up, go get Earl. You understand know what I'm saying? If they was me, I would um, want me to go be here in jail. But because he's these big people pollution with all the kind of money, you don't want him to go to jail too. Jail meant for everybody. Eh? Jail ain't make for only the people eh? who are on the street. Eh? Jail make for everybody who break the law. So yes, I want to see Theo say jail. I want to see Shannon, my good friend, say jail. I want to see O'Neill say jail. I've been arrested already. Done. I done got. I done got sentenced. I want to see how you say jail, yes? They had appeal. They had appeal. Well, it, it Matt, so I want to see you say jail. Uh, Who else? Rolando Bryson was part of the USP. If he get guilty, Rolando, I go, I go come visit you in jail. I, I'll put some money on your canteen. I, you, got, you got that for sure. And yeah. I'm going to show you how to survive in there too. You understand? But for the rest of them, you break the law, you got to go jail, bro. Don't, don't run from RNL, it. Don't RNL, run from RNL. it, bro. Don't we, run. We have the current minister, Leo Lambricks. Don't run. Come, come, come from USP. Um, we have um, Richard Elbruch, who, um, who's on, 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 on USM now. Uh, he's, he's, he, he was part of the USP. Uh, Jesus, the list goes on. Claudius Boncampo, um, you know, he comes from the USP. That, yeah, why um, how much of them got to go jail? The list, the list, the list. God, no, not all of them. It's just a couple. No wonder we ain't got space because the politicians alone got a jail full, Andrew. The politicians alone got a jail full. No wonder we ain't got no space. The National Alliance um, continues to um, <laughs> bring new blood, um, and it looks like they're looking to um, keep the Yorks. In the hen. That's this mad. The York is a big family. Yeah. A very successful family on the island. Local St. Martin too are not pretty quite a few of them. Pretty good people actually. And yeah, it would be wise to keep their vote keep the votes. You know, you know what you know the greatest part about this? I thank the NA for listening to what I saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I appreciate the NA for listening to everything I every, they must be they must they must study this politics every every Tuesday they must study it because they just react to what we say. And next time I see them doing exactly what we say. So they have now to, to be a one, so they have unified their house, but more so they have also unified their families. They didn't do what the Dewey were them, and, the, and the, they didn't do what the Mayas, you know what I'm saying, the Dewey were them, the Haile girls, they ain't doing, they ain't doing that, what they're doing. They're making sure for, for as long as the next, next election come around, they're going to keep their core people, or the, the top supporters, the top voters, the top families together. So but yeah. they're not treating the highest vote getter the, with the respect that he needs to Get. Bro, I just tell you he might not even make it then. Eh? What do you mean? What are you talking about? He I might tell you school chair and I'm talking long time. No, but that's not even possible. How are you not going to have the highest vote getter on the National Alliance list when he was the <laughs> highest vote getter for the entire elections? You crazy? 
Well, I mean, you know, I they can't get in without him. But listen, I, I'm. I, if you don't, if you no longer align, to please. The, you, you, if you no longer align to the party ideology or the party direction that the party is going with, I don't know. I can, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying anything, Andrew. Don't hold me to it. Some other people don't hold me to it. Hey, um, if I was Duran, Duran, start to shop, start to look around. Um, I think USB looking. But you just for ask the man yeah, what he's doing with a, with a bid, and then you tell him no. Just Andrew, what's up, John? I'm, I'm on the side of Saint Martin. And, and Since when? I always <laughs> what? What kind of? Earl. If you was on the side of Saint Martin, what are you doing here then? So what side are on then? Saint Martin, we both on the side of Saint Martin. What the hell do I mean? What kind of thing is this? I didn't know. I didn't know you was on the side of Saint Martin. I didn't, you shocked me with that one there, yes, man. Cause every time I say something, you tell me there, yeah, but he support. You just tell me Christopher support he dual citizen. You always find excuses for them. No, you're trying to tell me what? I'm not on the side of the politician, I can tell you that. I'm on the side of St. Martin. Which is, you don't know. Which is, it could be today <laughs> on this side, tomorrow on that side. That's St. Martin. Come on, stay with me, girl. You think I'm playing around here? You think this, this is a jokey show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, oh, so what man. I was saying is, um, Doran, um, USP, looking for people. But if you really want a, a winning team, um, you know, the up is looking for people, so you can go there, um, bring your 400 votes over there. Last time you get 800. Let me say 400 people get pissed off with you because you switch from Vromi minister, uh, from justice minister to Vromi minister, which a bunch of people are still pissed with you for that, by the way. They're never going to forget that. But either way, you're still good for 400 votes. So then bring your talents to, you know, the, the up party. I'm sure they're going to make some space for you. Um, but then, then he would be... Doing exactly what I just advised against, which is splitting the yard vote. Yes. Heavy. Because they don't want <laughs> him there. So, of course, you're going to have to split it. How do you know they don't want him there? Because it's clear that the National Alliance is not pushing their highest vote getter. It's clear. You see in but Siberia, but... Samuel, Hyundai, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Anything is that? Oh man. With Doran in the back. Nah. Uh uh. Something well, is wrong. Something is cooking. All I can say is that. And I think that the Congress is where we're going to see it. I can't wait for it. I'm going to be there anyway. Hey, I'm going to the, go the Congress. i go going to the Congress. <laughs> I, I go be there with my black shirt. No, seriously. I wear black in the color? Okay, good. I, yeah, wear, yeah, I yeah. come in though. I didn't black know I was going to wear it because I didn't want. Because every time, Hen yo, shout out to Henry Lynch, eh? Big up yourself, Henry. Every time Henry, Henry see me, he said, well, you are very white, man. You got to tell something to tell me? I said, no, Henry, Henry, it's he been hot lately. You know what I'm saying? So for sure, I come from a white then. You know what I'm saying? Because me want no, this come, me want no, no miscommunication, no miscarification. You understand? Serious. I'm coming over. I don't want to see it because when they go for any nominees for leadership, and then you see Durant get up and nobody can see him because he's short. So you have to stand up on the chair. And he stands up on the chair and you go like, me! And then you have Sylvia going like, duh, 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 like, you know, like those old westerns. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the question is, who you going to vote for? The Congress would have to decide whether they're going to put Sylvia back in power as a leader. Or they're going to put the deputy prime minister and the highest vote getter for but the ain't last only, election. Ain't only, ain't only them. Ain't, 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 ain't who you who you picking? Who you picking? Ain't only ain't if you have to pick those two, who you picking? I put it early in the spot. No, but you know, Earl gonna make a decision, and that's easy, my boy. I, I have personally worked with Silveria Jacobs, so I know her drive and her commitment for the people of Saint Martin. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, and I and I appreciate her level, um, her class. Her representation as prime minister, you know what I'm saying? All of those things is you can There's no, you, there's no question in adult in that. You know what I'm saying? Her capabilities. There's no question of adult in that. So, so if I had to, if I had to, if I had to vote, it's a hand, it's hands down. She's very, I, I, she get, she got, she got, she got it again. You know what I'm saying? Because she's the kind of face I would want as leadership. Her class, you know, you know, I mean. You know, not, not, not the cons, her sexual preference, her, her personal life. I was just, how you know, how you know I was going Because there? I know you are. How you, how you know I, I was because, going because there? Because I know you. We how you know I was going there? I, because, so her cons, the cons, I just gave you the pros. The cons, no, because that's, that's life. Life is pros and cons. The cons of her personal life, which is, which is what people would come at or try to push as cons, that don't have really, that, I don't really, because my personal life is something different too, Andrew, you understand? In a manner where, like, 
I really, I really and truly am a free person. Well, a prime minister should be a representation of the country, yes or no? What you, what you mean by that? Oh, you, oh, what, what, oh, what do I mean by you that? You mean in her personal... All of a sudden you, you become no, Sarah now? No, 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 because in her personal life, no. But in her professional life, yes, and she is that. My, our prime minister, I'm proud of my, believe it or not, you know what I'm saying, and I've never said this until you just asked me this question, but I am truly proud of our prime minister, Sylvia Jay, because I am. She represents us well. She, she, you know, we don't... We, You ask me a question and you want to tell me about am or am I am I pick and what? No, it's it's because I'm a barf. It's, you're making me sick. But you ask me for crazy. my answer. This my it's answer. Crazy. How can it's my answer make because no your barf? Answer, because, your answer, 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 because your answer makes no sense. How you mean it don't make no sense? It's my no, answer, Andrew. Because but the woman don't know what she's doing and she going. Listen, don't get me started, please. That's okay. So let me ask you the same question, please. Hold on. So so Andrew Dick, if you had to choose between Silver J. And, um, Hyundai, and those two, that's it. Hyundai. But you don't give me only a choice, no? You're taking only as a choice. You give me only as a choice. Because I'll take anybody but Silveria. <laughs> yeah. That's it. No, that's it. Why? I gave a split. I, I sat here and I gave a, spliff, a specified reason why I should like your turn. Talk to me. Under the National Alliance leadership, the most locals have been fired for the past three and a half years under the national alliance okay you win you win you win you win you win <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I want to no, 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 you win you win you win you win you win because you know I somebody show me you, where you know, the school is a lo, as a local you know i for the i local and for the local you win andrew if you start with that me why you're not nervous you might you might piss me off <laughs> we still we still have brian mingo as a damn ceo of the airport mm. he firing locals mm. left right center mm. Nothing's being done on the government side. Mm. Let me not even start on the school. Mm. Martin Luther King, mm. remember that? Yeah. Prince Renner asked at the school, mm. that's supposed to be fixed, remember that? Okay, 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 I gotta pull your path for. I gotta pull your path for. Carl Lord, Andrew, okay, cool, cool, cool. I hear you, I hear you. Wow. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the, thanks for the, yeah, no, because I, I mean, no way, me no way, it was my yeah, Bible. Because, because, thank you for bringing ribbons, me back. No, thank you for ribbons. bringing me back. Why? Thank you for bringing me back. <laughs> me no way, I was, I <laughs> I appreciate you for refreshing the memory, but I mean, Cutting you know, ribbons, I gotta go home and check smiling, it out. I gotta go check it out to see what going on in there because, wow. Being diplomatic, saying, okay, let me not cuss in the hall, let me cuss in the, in, in, <laughs> in the room. That's fine. That's leadership. Yeah, okay. That, that skill she has. Okay, cool. But when it comes to real leadership, yeah, getting yeah, things yeah, yeah. done. Going against the grain to the betterment of the country. That they don't have they have a big problem with that. Like and standing then, for what's right over get, everybody else and, then and making sure it's sassy that. and then get sassy when and you get called sure, out. And then make sure to happen because it's the right thing to do. They don't got that. They don't got it in them. Integrity, Andrew. The word of the days is integrity. They get sassy, they get like, um, and then uh, why are you asking that question? And um, I don't understand. You see how much times I'm doing this? I shake it because <laughs> that's the type of attitude we get in the press briefing when we ask a question like, um, no, what no, what? <laughs> No, uh uh. Like, whoa, wait, no. we didn't vote for you, miss? No, no, no but, but she. Sorry. No, but for the carnival, she passed me straight. I was like, no, what I do to her, bro? Like, I don't, like, listen, I can't have an opinion. I was like, damn, my, prime, my PM passing me straight. I'm like, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> you know listen, saying? I'm like, listen. I'm like, since when she do that? Like, for I, the I, life I, of me, whenever Sylvia, uh, whenever the Prime Minister see, see, uh, see me, for the life of me, I always try not to laugh as hard as possible because you can see in her face, in her demeanor, how much it takes for her to say hello to me. She's like, this is going to be hard. <laughs> this is going to be rough. I but I got to do it. I got to be the bigger person. No, no, no. But at least she utters it up. Bro, bro I mean, when I, I, I see her coming, I look left, I look right. She disappears. Like, what? This, this, is, who this is what I get, Earl. Earl. This, is, this, this is why I get Earl. And I just always go like, yeah, okay. Because I don't, <laughs> no, uh-uh. Nah. Wow. No, no, no. Uh-uh. You know exactly how I feel about you. I know exactly how you feel about me, but we're going to keep it moving because <laughs> we keep it professional. But otherwise than that, you're no good. Nah. Oh, man. So, uh, good luck to the <laughs> National <laughs> Well, I mean, no, you know, the thing about it is that 
Oh, they can be sweating. We have to, no, because they have to understand that actually they are in a service position and they don't really, they believe that service we... Service position? No, but the, and they, they don't really believe that. You get the, listen, they believe I went that to the, the ones that have to serve day. them. And I'm like, bro, you, are you, I know, I know the law, I know the rights, I know my, I said, I'm a law by any citizen. You got the, ser you, you are in a service position. I'm not the one in a service position. You are, minister, you are parliamentarian. You are the highest service position in our country. I get. I, I, I went to the uh, press briefing the last time and I saw uh, the Minister of Justice um, after the lashing she get um, for the whole justice workers thing. And it's the first time I see her in, 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 in months. months. Yeah, because she was gone for months. Right? Yeah, and I saw her and she was sitting there um, and I walked in and she was just like this. Did <laughs> <laughs> you? Like, tell you didn't answer. I, I got to believe this. You didn't answer because you didn't turn them. Tell you, I, I, I got to believe this. Tell you, because when she see me, she at least at least I could say one thing. When the justice minister see me, we just have good repertoire. I just heal. No matter what I say, and I was like, up, "Good morning." She still remain professional. She still heal me. She still give me my hug. She still let me know. You know what I'm saying? She don't take it too hard to take it personal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I appreciate her. She just take it personal. Trust me. Maybe from you. From me, yeah. I think I, I think I bring. It's I bring you. the it's you. People. It's you. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's a meeting. Anyway, you, got, you got to stay on the topic, Andrew. You can't, take it, you can't make it personal. You got to just stay on topics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's why I do make it personal because it's personal for me. St. Martin does, does matter to me. So I will take it personal. So if you're no good, I'm going to tell you yourself. <laughs> oh, my God. But make sure advertise. Oh, man. We are one. That does oh. it for our politics. Thank you so much for joining us for another interesting, insightful, and informative Tuesday. I hope that you take this information and use it as much as possible because you don't know what we're going to come with next, next week. No, I come with more, more I come with the wise voter campaign next week. But two things I want to end with. Two things I want to end with. Please, do the census. If you didn't do the census, find them and do the census because it's for your information, your, to update your information and keep you from not being kicked out of the registry. That's the law. Even though they have, may not be enforcing it now, I don't want to lead them to chance. I don't never know what this government up to or how how they're gonna try to to you to to manipulate the system for their benefit. So I know that we just got to I got to urge you guys do the census. That's one. And second, check to see your registration for your voters' registration so you can vote. It's up to par. First time voters, I come in for you. You understand? I have a specific time, place, location. You could come register, one time shot. We're going to do the rest for you. You understand? So I come in for you, first time voters, all you who want to contribute to the po to political arena, who want to want to take a, a stab at the democracy and do the right things. As far as casting your vote, coming for you. Okay? All right. And don't vote, don't vote for Gramico. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Till next week. Have a good one. <laughs>